What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a Makalele training guide. So short and sweet, we've already done a review on Bex, Makalele and Riziki, but this 98 version of Makalele is astounding lads. He's an incredible player. I definitely think, I'm just going to hide my webcam here for a sec as we go over to eFootball DB as well. We're going to see the view with max booster effect on. Now his max booster effect is dueling. It's a unique one for Makalele. We haven't seen this before. Plus two increase to the offensive awareness, tackling speed and stamina player stats. And of course, you are also going to have an incredibly good player skill selection with this guy. Now, I will say, right, one thing I will say is that I definitely recommend that you get an additional skill on him, which would be blocker. Anything else you get on him will be a bonus. Like obviously if you want to get heading, if you want to get acrobatic clearance, if you want to get, I don't know, like gamesmanship. Um, with the way the refs are at the moment, gamesmanship is, is vital, lads. Trust me, the refs gives you, give you absolutely nothing, right? Um, but blocker is the, the, definite, the definite one that you will want to give him. Like that is it. If you are going to be playing him in a pocket hole position, like a role uh, position where he's literally going to be your destroyer or your main anchorman or just sitting between your center backs and your center midfielder this is needed the blocker is needed right that's just my personal opinion um when you take a look at his stats they're absolutely incredible as well right so you've got defensive awareness and tackling that are going to get the boost so realistically if you want to max out his tackling the furthest you need to go is to a 97 overall or even a 96 overall we'll see how we train him up and of course, with the speed and the stamina, that's going to be into the 90 zone as well, or else the high 80s. So let's have a look at three different builds, or really two different builds for Makalele over on eFootballDB.com. Now, one thing I will say, lads, if you are looking for a free GP alternative, Barrios is your man. All you have to do is search for Colombia by nationality here, and you will get him. He's about three or four players down. So he is definitely a beast if you want to check out and stay free to play and not spin for Makalele. But let's crack on. All right, so the first build that we're going to go for is going to be part of a two-man central midfield. You're going to have your DMF anchorman, and then you're going to have Makalele either beside him or just slightly in front of him. So if you take the likes of an anchorman such as Casemiro or Rodri or somebody like that that is able to sit in the pocket, or even Barrios or somebody like that, it doesn't have to be an anchorman. You could use Declan Rice, a really defensive uh, version of Declan Rice. Um, but I definitely feel like Makalele, this version of him, you're putting 13 into dexterity to get his acceleration and balance maxed out as best as you possibly can. Balance is going to be 97, and with his physical contact and defensive stats here, he's going to be a menace in midfield. So think of him like Kante. You're going to have the defensive capabilities, um, but you're also going to have the engine to be able to get around, as well as the rapid pace, right? To be able to keep up with strikers, that when they break the line, you'll be able to get back. Now, I don't really recommend a double pivot DMF um, roll, like two DMFs or one CMF DMF. I like to have a box to box there. Um, but as a destroyer, if you are struggling with goals and you're conceding a lot of goals, try this build, right? We can try these builds for another 10 days for free. You can just reset the player's progression points after it. I have played a ton of gameplay with Makalele. And I think there's no equal to him in midfield for a defensive role, okay? And do I like this formation? Um, if you've got two DMFs and, a, and an attacking midfielder and then two wide players or else a wide and a, a you know left and a right and then two center forwards. I think a lot of people are using that 4-4-2 at the moment, that traditional 4-4-2. Um, but I definitely feel like if you are using Makalele in a more attacking role, you need to boost up his passing, dribbling, and dexterity to at least these levels because you're still going to get the boost in defense to awareness and tackling that they're going to be 90 and 96. And also speed is going to be 80 with 92 stamina. So you'll have the engine to never have to be substituted, okay? The next build is probably the ultimate build of Makalele that I would say, right? Forget about rating, forget about overall, forget about his card being um, where you want him to be. That last version of Makalele is 91 as a centre midfielder. This guy is the same, but he's got 95 as a DMF as is on his card, okay? Now, you can play around with this guy a little bit, okay? Because you are going to be getting boosts. But we're going to limit his defensive capabilities here to 97 for tackling, because then with the, with the boost, you will get a plus two to that, which means you'll have defensive awareness 93 and tackling 99. You can't go any higher than 99 unless you want to go into the hundreds. You can do that if you really wanted to. And that would change this card slightly, right? Because you can go to stats over 100 now. I personally don't feel that there's a massive difference between anything over 97 and, you know, 101, 102. 
I don't see it when I'm playing with Messi. I haven't seen it when I'm playing with Makalele. I haven't seen it when I've been trying out a lot of different builds. But you could do that if you want to bring up aggression and defensive engagement. This guy is not going to be running around the pitch. This guy is going to be sitting in between your centre back and your centre mid and your attacking mid. He is going to be acting as a centre midfield centre back, if that makes sense. A, D a, D a DMF, when you don't have possession, he's going to be sitting back in between your two centre backs, right? So again, if you wanted to change a couple of bits and pieces there, you could. You could go your acceleration to 78. I would probably reduce the passing as well to 82. And then I would probably reduce the dribbling to 80 the tight possession to 80 that's more than enough because you're not going to be dragging the ball around with him and then you could pop two more onto that and one more onto that if you wanted to go that route that's going to take up the stats well above the 99 with the plus boost but you're also going to have um defensive engagement getting the boost as well uh when you're there so it depends on how you want to see it if you want to have a player like that you're going to have 88 jump with 90 balance 90 stamina it's a phenomenal card you can't really train makalele wrong lads and as i said if you want a free version barrios is your man He's a beast. Rodri is a beast, but they're kind of different players, right? I know I see people talk about Declan Rice and stuff, but I don't think that there is an equal at the moment to Makalele unless you go for a free-to-play version like Barrio. So let me know what you guys think. I think Makalele, apart from Davids, is probably the best EMF in the game. He's insane. And when you play um, individual instruction with him, I would preferably use deep line on him. I know that is kind of, some people don't like that uh, kind of play, play instruction, but I definitely still rate it, especially with the way the game plays at the moment. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace. Up next is Beckham.